Cedric, uh, the, the noise today, obviously you were the home team. I, I guess I, I kind of wanted to just follow up on that, that road game. I never really got to ask you about that, and I'll follow up with a question on this game. Just the way you were able to control the snap in a hostile environment last week, and then as far as this week, um, the momentum, and could you feel a difference in the second half? Uh, definitely. Uh, last week, uh, Auburn definitely had a, I guess – you could say hostile environment, um, but it was something that we looked forward to. Uh, it was definitely something that we wanted, uh, something that, you know, we embraced. Um, move, coming back home, you know, we have great fans, you know, they amp up the noise for the opposing team. So you can definitely feel the energy shift and just knowing that you have all of those, you know, thousands or hundreds of thousands of people, you know, supporting you is just amazing. Okay, Seth Emerson, do you have a question? Uh, Cedric, can you, I guess, kind of sum up what the – atmosphere was on, on this did you feel anything different in the stadium i mean i i know you haven't been around here very long but i've been here a while and it seemed louder today than i guess it had been before uh yeah definitely uh just from what i've experienced you know from my first year here and then uh the times i've came as a recruit uh, it definitely was really loud today it was so loud to the point it was kind of hard, you know, for us to hear each other talking to each other, you know, on the sideline when the defense was on the field. So it was definitely really loud, and uh, we credit the fans to that. Appreciate them for that. How about Connor Riley and then Jake Rowe? Connor, do you have a question? I do. Uh, hey, hey, Cedric, what's it like blocking Jordan Davis every day in practice, and especially now as he makes an impact on special teams, blocking field goals and extra points and whatnot? Uh, it's amazing blocking Jordan Davis every day at practice. Uh, the, I think the best thing for me is it gives me a challenge. You know, blocking a guy of that caliber is definitely helpful because, you know, he makes me better every day. And, you know, also, too, just being able to help him. You know, he's told me as well that, you know, I help him get better. So it's just the uh, iron sharpens an iron thing, and it's, it's a great thing to compete every day. Um, Jake, do you have a question? I do. Uh, Cedric, uh, on one hand, you guys, you know, kind of allowed five, I think, tackles for a loss today. On the other hand, you had, you know, four or five runs of 19, 18 yards or more. What kind of goes into, you know, the, the up and down of that? You know, it, it seemed like, you know, it was almost a little bit feast or famine in the run game. W would you agree with that? And, and what do you think went into it? I'll say this. Uh, I think Kentucky had a really good team, um, great defense, but – I think we adjust, man. You know, playing football, you know, things may not always go your way, but you adjust and you keep playing ball. That is the way it goes. You just, you know, you keep playing, you keep chopping, and, you know, do what you're taught to do. All right, next we'll go with uh, Jed May, then Davis Baker. Jed? Yeah, Cedric. Um, just what is it like watching this tight end room with with the athletic freaks y'all got from Darnell to Brock and, and John? Just, just what is it like playing with those guys and, and seeing them, you know, contribute on the field like they did today? Uh, it's amazing, you know, basically you have a bunch of athletic offensive linemen, so it's definitely a great thing, you know, to have those guys playing next to you. And then, you know, it's almost a sense of, uh, I don't want to say entitlement, but just a, a sense of appreciation when you see those guys, you know, catching passes and doing what they do, you know, because those guys are the ones who are blocking right next to you and helping you contribute to the run game. So it's a great feeling. Cedric, did it feel like Kentucky was the most physical team that you've played so far this year? And why do you think that the play action passing game uh, was, you know, working so well tonight for the second straight week? Uh, I think Kentucky had a physical team, but we have a physical team as well. Um, you know, every game, you know, you go in with the mindset of you want to attack and you want to be physical. So it just goes into that. As far as uh, the play action game, um, I think it's just a combination of, you know, when you get to running the ball. Oh, well, and, you know, you get a couple of pop runs, you know, people start to, you know, crawl the box a little bit more. So that's just really what it is. Uh, Catherine Lewis and then Tyler Griffith. Catherine, do you have a question? No question. Okay. Tyler Griffith. Hey, can you talk for a second about Jamari and then how important that he is to the offensive line? And then also has he helped uh, with you, like contributed to your development? Uh, well, I'll say this. Jamari is a great guy. Um, Definitely a guy that I look to as a younger player. Uh, I look up to Jamari, you know, just because he's always giving me knowledge and giving me the things that I need to get through sometimes, and I may not have it. So just having that kind of wisdom around you, it definitely helps, you know, whether it's picking up on smaller things, safety rotations, and, you know, different things like that because he's been around so long. You know, it definitely helps. Um, he's a guy that I appreciate and a guy that definitely helps get us going. All right, Ryan Dennis and then Reggie Chapman. 
Ryan, do you have a question? I think I'm good, Linwood. Thank you, man. Okay. Reggie, did you have a question? I'm good, too. Thanks. Okay. All right, we have a couple more minutes with Cedric. We'll open it up. If anybody has any more questions for Cedric. Yeah, hey, Cedric. That, uh, that fumble that Kendall jumped on there, how big was that for you guys? And what does it say about Kendall that he's able to make a heads-up play like that? <laughs> um, well, it was it was unfortunate, but uh, we I know me personally, I knew it was a fumble. So I kind of just remember just screaming to Kendall go and get the ball because I'm running right behind him, and I don't think uh, Kentucky realized it yet that it was a fumble. So just having the awareness of like, hey man, this could possibly be a fumble because the whistle hasn't been blown yet. I think it was huge because you know you never know uh, football is a game of momentum, so you never want to give the opposing team too much momentum. All right, hey, Hey, Cedric, this is Chris Seidel yeah. from Hermitson Radio in Baltimore. Uh, congratulations on the win today. What was it like being number one for the first first week, full week of football? Um, it feels good, but at the same time, though, we haven't really accomplished our goals um, yet. You know, it's just really take things week by week and keep continuing to get better. Um, I mean, it feels great, and we're definitely appreciative, but at the same time, you know, our end goal is not to be number one in week seven. Cedric, you uh... – you strike me as a veteran. You're only a freshman, and yet you sound like an old hat at this. When when did you start to settle in and and feel as comfortable as you sound right now? First game, second game. When would you pinpoint it when you when you felt like you were really settled into those cleats? Probably fall camp. Uh, for me, it was probably fall camp. Um, it was a mindset shift. Uh, just a uh, hey man, if my number's called, I need to be ready. You know, I need to be able to make sure that. I'm doing what I need to do because if these guys are depending on me, I don't want to be the one to let everyone down. So I would say around fall camp, you know, and also, too, uh, when I warned it up getting hurt and uh, there were guys like Quay Walker, Jordan Davis, like, hey, man, I said, we believe in you. Like, you know, go and do what you know how to do best because at that point, you know, I was showing it in practice, but I was improving in the game. So just having those leaders of the defense and guys on the offense to come to me and be like, hey, man, we, we believe in you. So I would say probably around fall camp. Got time for two more with Cedric, if anybody has them. Yes, Cedric, it seemed like you guys, you know, faced a little bit of adversity, specifically towards the end of the first half, hadn't played in, you know, a game that close in a while. I guess what was your mindset going into halftime and coming out uh, and having that successful third quarter? Uh, my mindset was just to keep chopping, just keep playing ball. Um, don't get discouraged, have composure and connection, and just keep doing what we're taught to do. Um, I think Coach Smart does a great job. Uh, I would say hammering in our four core value. So just having that connection and composure just to, you know, keep it going. All right, does anybody have a final question for Cedric? Uh, 